Hello everyone, welcome to this video. The whole point of this video is to show you the power draw from 3070. The overall power draw, not just the stats you see on your afterburner or river tuner. These are my settings all high at 1440p. This is, I believe, what people will mostly use with 3070 1440p resolution. So that's why I'm not testing 4K. This is ICU software from Corsair. In case someone is not aware, there are certain PSU that can indicate, that can show you uh, what the power draw is with the software. So this is one of them. So you can see here, this is power draw stats 360. Um, you can notice over here the max it will go at 380 but that's like a very low point and as you can see here 380 it went and that's the max it mostly stays around 360 I believe 360 370 so that you can assume as an average for the power draw here this is the whole system power draw and my system consists of i5 12400 which is a 65 watt TDP you can see it's going up to 53 watt for CPU itself and just have two RAM no extra fans I don't have any extra fans in my case so this is bare minimum PC and this is the power draw it's getting the FPS here is just like placeholder because I'm using shadow play which cuts down the FPS so you can see I getting 45 on like base stock setting now I'm gonna undervolt my GPU so that it takes less power undervolted here you can see this graph I'm sticking at 900 millivolt whatever that is I don't know the exact thing you call for the electricity so now undervolted here now let's run the benchmark again if you're interested in undervolting otherwise those were your stats you just take 380 max power usage and i think cyberpunk is the only power hungry game at this point i've seen plenty of benchmarks and so far cyberpunk is the most power hungry or at least that's the most power hungry game i have at this point so you can see it, we start very good around 300 volt even drops below and the max I see is 320 as you can saw there it was 322 so that's the max it goes it mostly stays around 300 310 310 304 that's all hope you get some idea uh, of this again my FPS is limited because I'm recording with shadow play usually it will go to 50 average without under undervolting and with undervolting also it goes to that because it gives same fps as you can see at the end when the fps uh, when the benchmark ends you will see the fps average so that's it 320 is the max again 323 but that goes to very extreme levels so consider 310 or something like that so you can see 45 is the max pretty nice right undervolting and same performance i'm still experimenting some crashes but that happens rarely so i'm going to do some minor adjustment and see later on but that's it for this video if you like it thanks for watching uh, subscribe for more such uh, power usage or any benchmark videos for other games. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you next one.